Welcome to this time of prayer, a time for quiet and to come as you are to sit with God. At this time, when we cannot gather as communities, we remain united as we join in shared prayer. Spend a few moments relaxing, putting aside distractions, settling yourself, focusing on the Lord. Our theme for this session is hope in God alone. So as we begin our prayer, we ask that he gives us a new spirit of hopefulness as we turn to him.
In God alone there is rest for my soul. From him comes my safety. With him alone my rock, my safety. My fortress. I can never fall. How many times will you come rushing at a man? All of you to bring him down. Like a wall leaning over. Like a rampart undermined. Rest in God alone, my soul. He is the source of my hope. With him alone for my rock, my safety, my fortress, I can never fall. Rest in God, my safety, my glory, the rock of my strength. In God I find shelter, rely on him, people, at all times, and burden your hearts to him. God is a shelter for us. Do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, nor about your body, what you shall put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field. How they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things. And your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things shall be yours as well. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow. For tomorrow will be anxious for itself. God is our Father. We are his creation, the work of his hands. We are each important to him and he cares for us and about our lives. He is concerned for you and looks on you with love. His heart is filled with compassion He wants us to spend time with him, to trust in him. We move now to a time of silence, which will last for about five minutes. In that silence, reflect on how God provides for you, and also on the things that trouble you, that you want to share with him. The image of the candle that we see now reminds us of Christ's light burning within us.
Turn now to God to ask him for our needs. We pray for all those who feel their lives are filled with darkness. May the people around them show them your love and your light. We pray for those who are sick and those who care for them, that they will know your strength through times of struggle. We pray for our communities, that we will show love and care for one another. We pray that we will reach out to those we do not know, and that through us people will see your love and care made real. We pray for ourselves that we may learn to trust and know that you provide what is needed. God of creation, you burden yourself with our burdens so that we can move forward at every moment from anxiety towards trust, from shadows towards the light. Fan the flame of your spirit burning within us so that we may share your light and hope with the people in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we draw to a close and before our final song, let us join together and pray the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>